Drill Freak Nation, welcome back. And we're into an episode here of the Not So Senior Swing, and we're going to be talking about balance. And boy, oh boy, oh boy, have I seen so many times a student in front of me, and as soon as they go to make a swing, they're falling forward. Let's fix this. All right, guys, welcome back. Let's get after this one right now. So we talked about uh, so many things previous to this, but today we're going to be talking about balance. And think about how many times you've watched uh, the tour players play, and it's rare. I, I can't even remember seeing a tour player fall forward in a swing. That's how good their balance is. And I've been able to watch tour players practice when I was training and be right next to me and seeing all the different things that they would use to work with them. Some guys would use these big uh, foam circular, um, it looks almost like a noodle, but, but very large, and they would practice on that. They would practice on flat mats. Any which way to start giving them a better feel, remember I said feel, of what balance and what your feet should feel. So I want to just it, it, it get into something that you know, people talk about your weight should be on the balls of your feet at all times. And we can, when we measure, I'll check students and I can check from their trailing shoulder down through their knees where the actual physical body weight is. Because remember, we're leaning forward. So we have mass moving forward. We have gravity that's having a blast while we go to swing. All the centrifugal motion, everything is pulling you this way away towards towards the golf ball and I can't tell you how many times I've seen students that soon as they go to swing they're just diving their pelvis is moving forward into the ball so today we're going to talk about balance in this drill and we're going to talk about hitting through the ball to your target not at the ball and this will stop you or should stop you from moving forward so in this segment here I have a, a little hitting pad in front of me and if you notice I have my toes up so right now my toes are up on this hitting mat and you can do this at home. You can find something that would elevate your toes a little bit to get you back towards your heels so you feel the heel. So there's feel weight and actual total, total body weight which what's going on in the golf swing. So this swing, to me, we, we need to feel our heels. We need to feel like our glutes are back and we're sitting back. I have... I have so many videos on sitting back, sit back, uh, you know, in, in balance drills, your, your glutes against the wall swinging that way. These are all great drills for keeping you moving to the target. I'm talking today about keeping your feet in a position that when your heels are back, you're going to notice you're going to feel even some uh, tension, good tension in your back quads and in your glutes. So when you go to swing through the shot, you're moving in this direction, not this direction. This will prevent you. If you do this drill and you find something to elevate your foot, even if you go to a mat on the range and you just put your feet up on this mat a few inches, that certainly when you go to get set is going to give you a little bit different perspective of where your weight should feel like in the swing. So right now in this drill, I'm going to have you take your swing trainer. If, if you don't have one, just take a club. We're going to go back to our hip, and we're going to swing right over the golf ball. Remember, through the ball and stop right there. Nowhere at that point did I feel like I was falling forward, and that's what we're looking for. We're looking to get rid of the fact that everybody just dives into the golf ball. There is no pelvis moving forward. You watch the best players in the world, and when we draw lines on them, especially down the line, you will see they stay on that line totally and they're coming through in a really good fashion. But they work at it. Some guys, especially uh, conversing with uh, tour players uh, that I've had conversations, you know, some guys will say they like their, their, their weight maybe a little bit closer to the ankle area. Some like it towards the, the, uh, the heel area. This is something, again, I, I talk about this all the time. You have to practice, you have to, you know, do a little bit of trial and error. What doesn't get you to have your body moving this way through here? So. I've heard discussion of people saying, well, if your weight's on your heels, you're going to hit it left, not if you're swinging to the target. 
So let's try in this drill again to feel like your, 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 your weight is back towards your heels. And what we're going to do is again, we're going to take our swing trainer, if you notice, I'm going to be back and I'm going to swing right through the ball and stop right there. Everything has me moving in this direction there, not that direction hitting into the ball. One of the reasons why a lot of people lose their mark, as we would, we would call, and their pelvis moves forward or they fall into the balls, they are, they are just hitting at the ball. I had some really cool drills, uh, if you check out my YouTube channel, of hitting through the ball, and also there's a line, we'll get into that too, there's a line in front of the golf ball, we're always hitting, not, through, not into the ball, but through a designated five to six, seven inch line to the target. That helps you from not just seeing the ball and stopping forward, that gets you hitting through the ball. We're always hitting through it, never at it. So one more time, again, I have my toes on this little hitting mat right in here. If you notice too, lead foot is flared, just like we talked about in the previous episode. I'm gonna take my swing trainer, we're gonna go back, see some red, and we're gonna swing right over this golf ball and stop right there. And you're gonna find out that nowhere during that point, if you're doing this correctly, are you going to move in this direction. We don't want to. Another um, interesting little uh, practice you can do is, let's say when we get set up for this shot here, let's pretend, and we don't know for a fact how much the distance is from my nose to this golf ball, but I'm gonna pretend it's 55 inches. I'm just gonna use a number. So when I go to swing, I want to make sure my nose stays 55 inches through the holes as I get into impact right there. That forces me not to drop my head, right? It also reminds me of don't bury your chin in your chest. Chin up, eyes down. Chin up, eyes down. I have my feet on the mat and I'm just going to swing through and I'm in really good balance. I could stay here forever. Nothing moves downward. Everything moves through. Now you will see tour players, and again, squat in a little bit of a downward motion this way, but they're not moving into the golf ball. So Drill Freak Nation, I hope you enjoyed this particular drill and this particular episode on the not so swing, senior swing, and we'll catch you guys back again real soon. Peace and love, Drill Freak Nation.